Peru News Today All you need to know about to Peru. Lima continues to face high temperatures, will it reach 40 degrees Celsius? This is what Sinem he says. The National Service of Meteorology and Hydrology of Peru, Sinem he, predicts historic temperatures in the midst of an exceptionally hot summer. Lima registered thermal sensations of up to 37 degrees Celsius and the heat wave will persist until March. Experts ask the population to take precautions. In the midst of an exceptionally hot summer, the capital of Peru has been enduring high temperatures in recent days, reaching a thermal sensation of 37 degrees Celsius yesterday in the districts of Jesus Maria and La Molina, a figure that is well above than expected for the 2024 summer season. Faced with this surprising climatic event, Lima faces the possibility of reaching an unprecedented heat wave that would reach up to 40 degrees Celsius, according to the climatological estimates of the National Meteorology and Hydrology Service of Peru CINEMI, for the entire country, which it means that the inhabitants of Lima will continue to face days marked by intense heat in the coming weeks. In statements to various local media, meteorologist Benito Valderrama, Representative of Sinemhi, revealed that the extreme temperatures experienced this year have already exceeded historical records, marking a considerable increase compared to the last three years, which becomes a milestone. In the climatic variability of the country, the specialist also highlighted that this phenomenon could be repeated and extend until March. Humidity, little wind and solar radiation increase the thermal sensation. Benito Valderrama indicated that the temperature record in various districts of Lima could increase due to the thermal sensation, which usually increases the heat by 1 or 4 degrees more due to various environmental factors. In La Molina, for example, we have reached 35 degrees Celsius, but the sensation of heat could increase by up to 3 or 4 degrees in certain areas. It is important to keep in mind that inside vehicles such as cars or buses, the thermal sensation can be considerably higher than that recorded by a thermometer, which means that the perceived heat could be even more intense, he maintained. Valderrama explained that thermal sensation is the human body's perception of air temperature, which may differ from the actual temperature measured by a thermometer. This perception is influenced by several factors, including humidity, low wind and solar radiation, he said, adding that citizens should avoid exposing themselves during critical periods of the day, generally between noon and 3 in the afternoon. When the highest temperatures are recorded, why is it so hot in Lima? The explanation behind the high temperatures lies in the characteristic climatic behavior of February and March in Peru, identified as the warmest months. According to meteorologist Benito Valderrama, the conditions of the El Niño phenomenon on the Peruvian coast are contributing to the current situation, as well as the departure of the South Pacific Anticyclone from the Peruvian coast. The South Pacific Anticyclone normally drives cold winds from the south, towards the north of the coast, affecting what is Ica and Lima. Its absence reinforces the influence of summer. This causes the temperature to be higher than usual, he mentioned. The Sinemhi specialists specified that these weather conditions generate warmer winds, along with clear conditions in the early hours of the morning. This scenario causes a progressive increase in temperatures from mid-morning, reaching notable peaks of 33 degrees Celsius in many districts of metropolitan Lima. Two regions in northern Peru will be the most affected by the heat wave. According to Sinemhi meteorological projections, it is also anticipated that the regions of Tumbes and Piura, located in the northern part of the country, will experience high temperatures in the coming days. David Garay, meteorology engineer at Sinemhi, warns that currently temperatures in these regions range around 37 or 38 degrees. In addition, he points out that, at the beginning of next week, there is the possibility of an increase of up to two points in temperature due to a greater entry of warm winds from the northern hemisphere. The expert indicated that this month of February, both in Tumbes and in Piura, will be much hotter than other years. Faced with this scenario, he urged the population to prevent heat stroke, which mainly affects older adults, pregnant women and children, how to prevent heat stroke. Manuel Espinosa Silva Infectious Disease Specialist at the National Institute of Health INS, explained that heat stroke can affect people of all ages. However, the risk is greater in children, 
who do not easily express their symptoms, pregnant women and those over 65 years of age. This problem arises mainly due to prolonged exposure and physical exertion in high temperature conditions. Heat stroke manifests itself when the body temperature reaches or exceeds 40 degrees, without necessarily having any previous illness or infection, said the medical specialist. To prevent heat stroke, the INS infectologist emphasizes the importance of hydration, recommending drinking between 6 and 8 glasses of water a day to avoid dehydration. He also advises wearing wide-brimmed hats, wearing loose cotton clothing and keeping environments ventilated. Additionally, he suggests avoiding excessive sun exposure, especially between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m., as well as refraining from consuming alcohol and heavy, fatty foods. As for food, you should prioritize vegetables such as lettuce, chard, pickles, radishes, tomatoes, kaigua or turnip, as well as fruits such as melon, watermelon, cucumber, among others. What are the symptoms of heat stroke? Heat stroke manifests itself through various symptoms, which the INS doctor, Manuel Espinosa, asked to take into account to be alert. Fever. Headache. Sensation of vertigo. Nausea. Confusion. Diarrhea. Dry mouth. Accelerated breathing. Weak pulse. Reddened skin. Loss of consciousness, in extreme cases. If you experience these symptoms, the doctor emphasizes the importance of seeking medical attention immediately. During transfer to the emergency room, it is recommended to use warm water cloths or bathe the patient with warm water as initial measures, he said. Peru News Today, follow us on Facebook and Instagram.